Following the two years long war on Tigray, an agreement has been reached between the governments of Tigray and Ethiopia around the beginning of November to permanently cease hostilities. However, implementation of crucial points such as allowing access to humanitarian aid into Tigray still remains uncertain, leaving millions desperate for food and medicine. In an interview with Al Jazeera, Takhlai Gaura Mikhail, an assistant editor in Tighat, a platform that documents the war on Tigray, says the use of starvation as a weapon still remains in place after the government of Tigray signed the peace deal mainly to avert the catastrophe in the region. And they signed because they wanted aid to get into starving people. People are dying from starvation. From multiple reports, we have been able to understand that there is immense suffering in Tigray. But even though they, they signed under that in, uh, enormous pressure, we know that aid hasn't got into to, to Tigray until uh, today. So nothing has changed in terms of actually aid um, getting to Tigray, even though the very mm -hmm. reason that Tigray representative signed the deal that is otherwise extremely unfavorable to Tigray was to make sure that aid um, got into Tigray. Martin Plot, a political analyst in the Horn of Africa, also says the peace agreement remains fragile as long as there is no humanitarian aid entering Tigray and added that independent journalists should enter the region to report from the ground. Well, I think until the aid actually begins to flow and we have no indication yet that it is flowing, then certainly it will remain fragile because uh, as, as Tekla has just made clear, this is one of the main reasons that the uh, Tigrayans signed. Uh, but we have to see some kind of proof. Um, and that's why it's important that not only the aid goes in, but we should have some independent journalists going in as well, who can then report from the ground and say, this is what is happening. Takhlai Gaura Mikhail also says that humanitarian workers have reported to have been banned from entering Tigray, while some Ethiopian government officials claim aid has started to flow into the region. The a senior government official was yesterday um, caught lying. He said that aid was flowing to Tigray, but immediately humanitarian workers in, in Ethiopia said that that was actually categorically a lie because they have been banned and they still continue to be banned from delivering aid. So the, mm -hmm. the, the, aid, the claim that aid is getting to Tigray is a complete categorical uh, lie. And this is something that humanitarian workers have been repeatedly saying. According to the UN, there are currently over 5.2 million people in dire need of humanitarian assistance, including food and medication.